guys, in this video, I'm going to cover this ordinary looking dining table with a mirror that was um, given to me when I purchased another item um, from Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to take this mirror out of the frame and place it on top of my dining room table here. As you see, I have them positioned about three and three quarter inches from each edge. So in making up for the brown that you see on the table, I'm going to use the Dollar Tree uh, mirrored coasters. And you can see here, I've already gone outside and broken my mirrors. I just took a hammer and put one inside of the towel, folded it over to cover each one and just hit it with a hammer to get these uh, broken mirror pieces. And so here I'm actually placing down my first set of mirrors as close to the edge as I can get them with the straight pieces that were, that were left from the mirror. And then just filling in those blank spaces with the broken pieces and then later with some smaller pieces to try to fill in any gaps that may have been a little bit too big for my taste. And I'm actually using the clear Gorilla Glue. I will leave a description down in the description box below at the end of this video. So this idea I actually got from um, not even a particular website. I just wanted to do something different with this table. I'm starting to pull out some of my red colors. My I love red and that's the color that, that I've had in my dining area, well, my kitchen area for the past three years. So I kind of want to pull in that gold, champagne, silver, and white into my kitchen. Now this piece here got shattered when I hit it. I guess maybe I hit it too many times, but I'm actually going to use this because I like the design. I like that shattered look. It makes the piece look more um, original or believable in my opinion. Some people don't like using those pieces. I actually do. And so here I'm done gluing down all my pieces, getting it ready for the grout to fill it in with that grout. So um, I don't cut myself whenever I'm eating dinner at this table or breakfast or whatever. And this Gorilla Glue actually works really, really well. It takes uh, maybe about two or three hours for it to cure all the way but it does actually work well and I let mine set for 24 hours so I'm just using a plastic uh, knife here and I'm using the back of it to spread my grout into those grooves and to fill in those spaces in between the mirrors and once that dried I just took a damp cloth and went over the dried grout to loosen it up and then I just took a Brillo pad and sort of scraped away the hard uh, grout that was stuck to the surface and above the surface here. I did put a towel down on the floor, an old towel, to catch that excess grout that's falling. And this method actually worked really, really well, guys. And it does not scrape or scratch the mirror surface. And so I'm just taking my damp cloth and wiping over the grout this process took me maybe I would say about an hour or so to to get it softened and and leveled the, the way that I wanted it to and it even worked better in my opinion than the the method that most carpenters use whenever they smooth out the grout this was just easier for me so I don't know I guess maybe if if some of you have done this method before, leave in the comment section, what would you do different or what did you do different? Let me know. I'm pretty sure that everybody has their own technique and ways of doing things, but this, this just worked well for me. And so it did take me uh, maybe three, four, I don't remember right off how many times I had to go over this and wipe at the end of this process I did use a paper towel to clean up my mirrors my scraper to remove any excess glue that may have dripped down on the mirrors and dried before I could wipe it off but this worked pretty good 
also guys if this is the type of content you like to see if you like to refurbish furniture if you like to uh, repurpose your old pictures these the frames of them let me know because that's something that I love doing I love adding to furniture that I have to kind of bring it to life and here you see I'm just using that paper towel to wipe off that mildew or mist that was left over from when I laid my grout down and it actually came off really really easy just make sure that you're careful when you're doing this also when you're laying down those mirror tiles and when you're breaking the mirrors you want to use some type of protective PPE maybe some goggles or some gloves I'm just used to working with uh, glass because I love mirrored furniture um, I have a lot of mirrored furniture in my house so yeah just make sure that you're, you're careful when you do this now that the drought the grout has dried I'm gonna take this grout sealer and just go over in between everywhere the grout is and it has this little brush up top that makes it really easy to go into those grooves now I did take that seal on the inside off I took it all the way off maybe I should have just made a hole so that it doesn't come out as fast and as you can see my seal is coming out kind of fast and furious on me but it did not cloud my mirror when it dried into the grout it did not leave a cloud on the mirror it's really easy to wipe off so it dried into the grout really fast but it did not dry on the mirror so I was able to wipe that away and I did go over this uh, three times I think I went over this three times I would let it dry and then go over it again and then let it dry and go over it again and once that seal dried I just cleaned it up some more around the edges and made sure that my mirrors were clean some some places had more glue on them than others so that took me a minute to clean away but at the end of the day we got it done and this is a project that I wanted to do for a while and I finally was able to do it here is my finished mirror topped mosaic dining table and I just staged it with a tray and a candle and um, some of my red flowers and some of that green to kind of break up the red and I think this came out really really nice it actually came out better than I expected it to but guys let me know what you think about this project is this something that you maybe want to try I think my DIY skills are a little bit better than my camera skills but it's something I'm gonna have to work on in the future um, this is the, the finished product without tablecloths and this is the finished product with tablecloths and I think I'm going to add a layer of clear glass on top of it just to be extra, um, a layer of extra protection. But um, if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment. If you want to see more of this, com this content just hit that notification bell. Until the next time.